stunning. Quite literally stunning. Yes, that's exactly what happens when over 600 volts of searing electricity flows right through your body. Electric eels stun their prey by generating electricity. Looking at the size of these creatures at just 6 to 8 feet long in their adulthood, with a body weight of well under 20 kilograms, you'd never bet on them winning a one-on-one -on -one against a gigantic crocodile. But there you have it. Game, set and match. All of it goes to the eel. I don't want to have such a superpower. I mean, duh. Why not? And by the way, did you know? The electric eel inspired the design of the first ever electric battery. Also, have you ever wondered how electric eels generate electricity on their own? Why can't I? Electric eels have thousands of muscle cells, each creating tiny amounts of electric current. When combined, 6,000 muscle cells working together can generate up to 600 volts or at times even more. Three specialized electric organs make up about 80% of an electric eel's body. Vital organs, however, like the heart and the liver, are all tightly packed at the front part of the eel's body. Remember the image of the electric battery? Yes, 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 that one. The answer lies there, electrocytes. Each organ is filled with stacks of thousands of disc-shaped cells called electrocytes. The electrocytes are arranged so that there are two sides with opposite charge patterns. These alternating charges can drive a current turning the electrocyte into a biological battery. And when the fish's brain sends a signal through the nervous system to its electrocyte to open the iron gates, all hell breaks loose. The stacks of electrocytes act like thousands of batteries in series. The tiny charge from each electrocyte adds up to form a high voltage electrical shock that can travel several meters. Bye bye predator, or if you're on the hunt for food, bye bye prey. You can visualize an eel as a large battery with a positive pole at the mouth end and a negative pole at the tail end. Electricity flows from the positive to the negative pole. Therefore, when an eel is totally submerged, the current is conducted by the water, closing the loop. The eel, however, can make the shock more intense. It can do so by leaping out of the water and making the electricity travel through the body of the prey to reach the negative pole. The eel presses its chin, the positive pole, against the body of the prey and rises up as high as it can reach so that electricity travels down through the prey's body. Now the obvious question arises, can an electric eel kill you? The short answer is yes. Of course, when we don't have a then we will get to the game. But there is a longer answer to this question as well. Electric eels have killed people in South America, most likely through drowning after being shot. Humans have been attacked and killed by electric eels, but strictly in defense and not for food. Now, can eels kill us Indians? Well, thankfully, not as long as we are in our own country. Electric eels are widely distributed across Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, Yucador and Peru. 
In addition to defense, electric eels use their shocking power to hunt. Of course, of course. In the dark and murky waters they inhabit, prey can be difficult to spot. To aid its hunt, the electric eel has motion-sensitive hairs along its body. These hairs detect any slight pressure change in the surrounding water. When the eel suspects a prey lurking nearby, it emits two rapid electric pulses called a doublet. This doublet affects the muscles of the prey, causing it to twitch involuntarily and alerting the electric eel to its presence. With a series of high voltage pulses, as many as 400 per second, it then paralyzes and consumes its prey. This entire process happens so quickly that it can be difficult for the human eye to observe in detail. Attack, defense, all of it is done. Kuch bach gaya kya? Oh ha! There's the matter of procreation. Bijli, bijli, matru, 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 bijli, bijli se ish. <laughs> electric eels communicate with each other using low electric organ discharges. This electricity is produced in pulses and the duration of each pulse is much shorter than the time that lapses between each pulse. The frequency at which weaker electric pulses are produced varies between males and females. This is used to attract individuals of the other sex and mate. Female electric eels lay between 1200 to 1700 eggs during the dry season. Males construct nests made of saliva and guard the larvae until the rainy season begins. More research on the reproductive cycle and behavior of electric eels is needed to determine how exactly spawning takes place. But it's not so hai. Banga loge, to mare jaoge, boss. Well, all in all, these creatures are truly amazing. And they're certainly not all evil. In South America, electric eels are known as pura the one who puts you to sleep. Oil is extracted from eels and this oil is used by the locals to treat rheumatism, osteoporosis and insect and snake bites. Par yaad rakhna, zor ka jhatka zor se lage. Aur haan, jane se pehle ek baat. Electric eels are not eels at all, biologically speaking. क्या कोई बताना चाहेगा कि ईल फैमिली का हिस्सा नहीं है तो आखिर ये हैं क्या फिर? Leave your comments below and that's a wrap for this episode of the Beauty of the Beast. Do let us know in your comments what other animal superpowers would you like to watch. Keep watching India Science.